pranavayu is generally in charge of your respiratory action and thought process. Well, if this happens, inertia will come into the body. Your prana between the navel and the pit of the throat will not function as it should. Your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered. These three are very vital for you to be a vibrant human being. See, there are various moments within the body, as each individual may know this to some extent. If you are a doctor, you think in terms of blood flowing and uh, other, you know, glandular functions happening which determines your moods and your experiences. But there is something deeper than that. That is, uh, first thing is, the moment of energy, the moment of different values in the system, there should be no blockages. So there are vital passages within the body, particularly in the head region. If these pass passages are blocked, keeping yourself up in an exuberant way is a great effort. So it's in this context, we will spend the next five full moons looking at the mechanics of what makes a human being joyful and exuberant. What is the mechanics? What one needs to do? The word vayu literally means that which moves, generally referred to the air. Right now here, you know, the air is moving with force, you can't miss it. It's moving a lot of things along with it. So this… this aspect which we refer to as vayu is that which moves, it's also an element. Within the body, in a fundamental way, it manifests as five basic vayus. Well, if you want to understand it a little more profoundly, it becomes ten. If you want to know every intricacy about it, it becomes eighty-four. But they are too subtle. You will have to spend lifetimes of focus to figure these things out. Generally, if you get the five values in place and on, the other things will naturally fire up and function by themselves. What these values means is, because they move everything in the system, your digestive fires, if they have to move, these pancha values are needed, circulation must happen, nutrients must spread across the body, wastes have to be removed from the cellular level. For everything to happen, you need movement. If you stop the movement, then you will see the body will not be able to sustain life. So whether the flow is full flow or is it a restricted or constipated flow, this is the aspect we are looking at. To breathe in the right way, if you watch a child, you would see if a child is asleep, you will see child breathes in such a way the breath is largely between pit of the throat to the navel. He doesn't expand the lower belly, he just here and here, not this. Some adults might have developed the habit of breathing through the entire belly. Well, if this happens, inertia will come into the body. If you generate gases below the navel, that is, if you eat certain types of foods, well, we've gone through this for those of you who've been in inner engineering, if you eat too much of tuberous material like potatoes and other tuberous substances, you will generate gas which is below the navel. 
Once you generate gas there, your prana between the navel and the pit of the throat will not function as it should and the dynamic… dynamism levels in your system will go down. This is one reason those who wish to meditate, those who are students and those who need to focus their mind and stay awake for long periods of time, they should not eat those substances. Another reason this is happening across the world today is, as the world or as the fools think they are becoming more and more modern, their food gets older and older and older. Fresh food is for the uncivilized. If you're very civilized, you must go to a superstore, buy a box, it has a plastic wrap, take it and throw it knowing fully well it cannot be biodegraded and the can is made of something else, usually plastic or aluminum or whatever. From that, you… if you want, you can heat it in the microwave, which is one more bad thing you're doing and eat. This may be minimum three months old. No, no, it was in the refrigerator, it is preserved. And they have put preservatives so that it doesn't go bad. Uh, that is a double mistake. Now, in the yogic tradition, if you cook anything, maximum within one and a half hours you must consume it. If there are certain types of items, up to four hours is okay. Beyond that, you don't touch. It doesn't matter how tasty it is, how nice it is, you don't touch anything because then you will develop gases in the system. Gas is not only in the stomach that you will feel obviously, but you will develop vayus in the system which will work against your pranavayu. That means your respiratory action and your thought process and your sense of smell will get lowered over a period of time. These three are very vital for you to be a vibrant human being.